Uh, so here it is, Dominar. Bajaj launched the most powerful bike till date, Dominar 400. And it was amazing to ride. So I finally got the uh, opportunity to test ride that bike. I was caught up with few things uh, in the past 2-3 uh, weeks. So I did not uh, go attend the launch event and all. But finally I uh, test driven it. But uh, there are few observations uh, which I came across while test riding the bike. So I'll uh, share my uh, honest opinion regarding the bike and uh, and please note that I'm uh, not gonna put down an image of a bike in order to promote the image of another bike or something like that. I have just even it and I'll just share my honest opinion regarding the bike and uh, please note that again this is from my perspective of view as a buyer if I have that much of amount of cash am I gonna invest in a bike like that or not and uh, this is not a comparison review this is just an honest feedback what the bike is what the bike is not and that's just my view so let's go let's go for the test ride This is the Dominar 400 and I uh, have taken it for a test drive, it was a short test drive. So uh, there are a few pointers which I liked about the bike, which I didn't like about the bike. So I'll be starting the video now and we'll discuss about this thing. So let's go. Okay, so finally here it is. I'm riding the Dominar and uh, let's talk about the pointers. So first thing I really liked the acceleration especially in the first and the second gear the exhaust uh, exhaust sound is super smooth and plus uh, the engine refinement is really good it feels like almost like a twin engine twin cylinder engine so that's really good and i also like the instrument cluster has a uh, black background with a white uh, display so uh, th that's a very good part of it uh, what i didn't like about the bike uh, is uh, the gear shifting the gear shifting was not slick at all uh, so it was getting stuck in between and uh, so what uh, the showroom guys were telling is it's because of the slipper clutch and you need to shift uh, at higher rpms now uh, i have done my test ride uh, within the city and uh, of shifting in higher rpms is not practical in city every time so if uh, ship, uh, slipper clutch does not work in lower rpms then that's one problem uh, the other thing I liked about the bike is especially when I was going over the potholes and everything uh, was the suspension. The suspension setup is really really good and it's very comfortable. So uh, being riding a, uh, other bikes I was always in the mindset that uh, whenever I go over a pothole there is gonna be a jerk or I'm gonna hear a third sound or like here when I was expecting that I'll just get in the pothole and get that vibration or that jerk the bike was actually handling it very well and it was not coming to my body so that's a very uh, good part of it the other thing i uh, did not like about the bike is uh, once i'm going above uh, on the higher rpm range like around 4000 or 5000 i was hearing slight vibrations from the panel so again the showroom guys tell me that uh, do not ride it on a higher uh, rpm so i like uh, after having a 400 cc if i don't ride on higher rpm so what's the point of it so uh, it looks like body vibrations or the panel vibrations are gonna be there and uh, can't help it really uh, the next thing i liked about the bike is uh, specifically the headlights the headlights are seriously seriously amazing and uh, especially when you switch to the uh, higher beam uh, the spread looks good even in daylight even in broad daylight uh, i was able to uh, highlight the spread that this is my headlights uh, spread so that was a really good part of it uh, the uh, next thing which i did not like about the bike is uh, i like the instrument cluster but uh, the secondary instrument uh, panel which was uh, kind of different in the concept but here uh, it shows only your abs indicators and everything and uh, if you are a uh, rider and you are wearing a big helmet so it's not uh, literally possible for you to every time uh, have eyes on both the consoles for the secondary console you need to put your head down 
in order to uh, see it or else your helmet or your full face helmet keeps on covering it up uh, so again that's only my point of view i also did not like the fact uh, that the abs is not switchable so uh, uh, i am i'm not sure if there are some other options but uh, that's what uh, the showroom people told me that you cannot switch off the abs so if i am going on a bad road and i cannot switch off the abs and uh, where uh, i need a good control of the braking uh, abs is not uh, being switched off uh, that's a concern for me uh, so i don't know how that will work out uh, the other thing which i found uh, about the bike and i was not allowed to capture that was the sprocket was loose and it was actually vibrating uh, so when i uh, used it with my hand i tried to move it with my hand it was actually vibrating and what the show uh, people are telling me is that um, they need to replace the sprocket uh, because uh, there has been some issues or uh, like the rubber uh, padding has gone and all those things so it happens uh, as a normal procedure so my question on that point was uh, the bike has done only 850 kilometers and after doing 850 kilometers if we need to work on sprocket uh, that's uh, pretty disappointing so i did not receive any satisfactory answer to that so either there was a problem with the bike or uh, the showroom guys were not aware of what's actually happening so that again gives a hint of uh, how the after sales service is gonna be again uh, to sum it up yeah it's a it's a really good effort made by bajaj and uh, they have uh, made a wonderful spec list but until uh, the bike actually comes out on the road and people uh, use it in uh, different ways uh, we won't be able to share how those actual specs work uh, till then uh, it looks good it looks good on an average uh, point of view and the, uh, if you are like really budget concerned then uh, it looks it's like a good bike so uh, and i especially like about how refined bajaj engine became and uh, the features they have included and especially the exhaust but again uh, there are plus there are minuses and uh, it's better to wait and watch instead of uh, being an impulsive buyer so that's pretty much about from me and uh, please again note that this is my perception of the bike so you can go for yourself and test ride the bike and see uh, what's the actual uh, Thing. So again I would like to thank uh, Khibraj, uh, Bajaj, uh, Kasturba Road for allowing us to uh, test ride the bike and uh, also make a blog about it. So thank you so much guys for watching and uh, make sure to hit the like, hit the subscribe button, share this video. Thank you. Yeah, so that was about it and uh, the, uh, these are the pointers which I came across, the major pointers uh, which uh, I liked about the bike, which uh, the pointers which I did not like about the bike and uh, this is just my view. So uh, you can absolutely go to the showrooms and check out the facts and uh, relate uh, to the facts which I have stated in the video whether this thing matches or not. and. Uh, whenever you are buying or taking a decision to buy a new bike uh, I, I will say uh, don't uh, try to be an impulsive buyer wait for some time if you have time only if you have time wait for some time check for the actual uh, real time feedback from the people who buy the bike and uh, what are the after sales uh, service and everything and then only go ahead with the decision so uh, that's my suggestion and uh, I hope you guys like the video so make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, share this. Thank you. See you. Have a good day. Ride safe and make sure to wear your gears all the time. Thank you.